Hey everyone, it's Eddie Sanchez and I'm back with more creative tips for you young creatives out there. So today I wanted to talk about the importance of the first 10 pages of your screenplay. I wanna give you guys a little help because when you're first starting out and we all started at some point, right? We all started brand new. We didn't know all the rules. We didn't know, you know, when we write screenplays, if people read them, uh, you know, when do they stop reading it? Look, to, simp to simply put it, right? I personally stop reading a screenplay after three pages if there's a lot of grammatical errors and a lot of uh, formatting mistakes. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, okay? I think a lot of producers and a lot of executives start reading it, but if they struggle to read through it, like if your action lines are like don't make sense and your dialogue is on the nose and it's just not on point, they're gonna stop reading it. Um, you ever watch a movie and you're watching it first few minutes, you know, like let's say first 10 minutes and it's just completely boring, nothing is happening and you don't even know who the main protagonist is, you're gonna flip the channel. I guarantee you, I would. So that's exactly what the first 10 pages of your screenplay, you know, are. The first 10 pages of your screenplay equals the first 10 pages of your movie, okay? So if it's boring and nothing is happening, they're gonna, the producer, the executive is gonna change the channel and go on to the next um, project, right? So it is important in your first 10 pages that we establish who the protagonist is. Tell me something interesting about him. Get me to care about your protagonist. If I don't care about your protagonist, again, I'm switching the channel. So that's like one of the main things that I notice is that we, we if we don't care about the protagonist and what's happening in his life, we're gonna stop reading because I'm like, ah, it's okay, the story's okay, but I don't really, I, I don't have a connection with this guy. A good example, which I list below in my blog, right? Um, the link is down below, so read my blog. Um, is Wanted, 2008's Wanted, with James McAvoy and Angelina Jolie. Again, it's a great cast, uh, it's a great movie. Um, James McAvoy's uh, character, I think it's Wesley, basically his life was terrible in the beginning. Um, his girlfriend was cheating on him, his job was terrible, his boss picked on him, you name it, it was happening to him. Okay? So we got to feel for the character, and that's kind of what you have to do. You, you want the audience, myself, or whoever's reading your script, to feel for your main character, okay? So we know who the char character is, we we have some kind of emotional feeling towards the character, whether we hate him, love him, feel sorry for him, anything. You want to, you want us to get him, uh, the audience to feel for your character, main character, okay? That makes sense. Uh, another thing is just be careful with the mistakes. Get coverage so you don't have a lot of mistakes. If you have a lot of formatting mistakes, grammar mistakes, they're gonna stop reading. Okay, so these are important facts, okay? Again, I gave you an example. Wanted is a good example of, of uh, we get to meet the protagonist, their world that they live in, before the inciting incident. So this is before the inciting incident. Uh, for me, it happens maybe around 12, whatever. You feel, you, you'll establish um, a pattern where you wanna set up the inciting incident. But, before we get to the inciting incident, we have to feel for the character, okay? That's very important. And that's really what I want to talk about today. Um, click the link down below um, for, for my blog. I also put another link uh, to another blog which, you know, talks about the importance of the first 10 pages. Again, we have to, I, the only way I could describe it, the simplest way to describe it, is um, have an emotional bond between the main character and the audience. Establish a bond somehow. Okay? Get us to feel for that character. If you have any questions, as always, drop a comment down below. I'm Eddie Sanchez. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Link's going to be down below. Surprise, surprise. Or in my bio, depending on where you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.